Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, down by the Salton Sea, um, Southern California, there have been a rocket and a rolling since they had a 4.0 earthquake, according to EMSC. USGS downgraded it to a magnitude 3.9 and 16 people reported feeling it. This 4.0 was reported up by Cathedral City. And here we got the Salton Sea. I've reported about the earthquake swarms that are going on and the spreading. We got a fault line, the San Andreas fault line that runs through here. And we got Brawley, uh, one report there. They don't report or post all the people that reported feeling um, the earthquakes. I know that from experiences. Um, Nyland, I guess that is. There's seven from there. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake and I reported how the lake's drying up and yeah we, I got the fault line drawn out through here right there and let's see what else in the last week there's been 41 earthquakes in this location we also got them down here by um, Raleigh and yeah let's look at this there's a lot of geothermal power plants going on um pulling the the water yeah you know, just what you need when they already have problems with the uh, depletion of water here's the same location on zoom earth in uh, 2019 february and i want to show you how much different it looks on google earth one example here is this sand bar and we'll go back to zoom earth to see that now this was uh, the beginning like i said february of 2019 and with the uh, uh, power plants that are drawing the heated water um, yeah it's creating earthquakes and like I said we got the fault line that goes straight through here and there's also other fault lines which I don't have drawn out around the outside of the the lake and this is part of the San Andreas fault zone they'll probably say it's aftershocks of these other moderate earthquakes that they've had um, there was a 4.6 on August 6th of this year. Let me go back up here. Let me get it. That was on the 10th of August of this year. And then we got some more. Let me pull this out and bring it down for you. Yeah, we got a lot of them down here by um, Brawley. Let's see, we got a 4.5, 4.1 um 4.4 4. that was a four shock to the 5.0 and that occurred on october 1st they've already removed that page and when i type in the address that they say this is what i get yeah just limiting limiting the access you have to pass information um, but they're probably saying that this earthquake could be an aftershock of the uh, 5.0 that they have now downgraded to a 4.9. USGS on their web page um, supposed to list um, significant earthquakes worldwide uh, magnitude 4.5 or greater and 2.5s for the last 30 days but I have caught them removing um, earthquakes um, even from the last 30 days. I'll bring this over for you so you can see. It's so, supposed to be on here for that. Yeah, let's click on this. Yeah. EMSC has 10 earthquakes listed right in here. 15 altogether for uh, Southern California in the last 24 hours. And what could be um, a foreshock was a 2.1 they have listed at 2056 Universal Time. Now the 4.0 happened at 2059. All right, 2.1 according to EMSC. USGS says it was a 1.3. Yeah, that's a big difference in magnitude. And here's the location of the um, earthquake. Either a 1.3 or a, a 2.1. And we'll bring it out. Where is that 4.0? Alright, I put in its coordinates. And then we'll zoom out. 
Okay, there's the 4.0. And right there. And this is a 2.1, probably a four shock. Like I said, we got fault lines that run around um, the edge of the lake. They know that by the um, the mud pools, the hot pools that they got throughout this location. What all these earthquakes are showing you is that there's built up pressure that will one day be released by a very large earthquake. So did you feel this earthquake down there by the Salton Sea? How long did it last? What did it sound like? Um, did you hear the first rumble before you felt the shaking? That would be the P wave of the earthquake. The first wave is always called the P wave and the shaking is what's called the S wave. Did anything fall off your shelves? Did you have any damage? Uh, please put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.